update on a brazen homicide in the city's most popular neighborhood. Let's take a listen. Uh, we know that we will be able to develop this case. We have a house that we have are in the process even right now of doing a search warrant on. And we have indeed recovered at least one firearm. So that is the update. Uh, we do know who you are. And so we are asking you to come on in, turn yourself in. And that is our current update. Now, within a couple of hours, we will be able to push out photos to you. And that will occur later. And then tomorrow, uh, if we have more updates, of course, and I'm sure we will by the morning. But I wanted our city to know uh, how quickly we have been able to get some responsible people into custody. And we're hearing that one of the uh, suspects may have had an ankle monitor. Can you confirm that at all? I will. Uh, we will confirm that for you later. Was there right the help now. of the cameras in the area? I know earlier you talked about possibly reaching out to true known other agencies in the area. Is that how you were able to identify the suspect? Right. So earlier today at the time of the event, you saw that we were all down there uh, at the end and it took us a little while to come forward to you is because we were looking at those cameras. And so other agencies, uh, we pushed that information out to them, but it was our own officers who found this car within an hour. Yes, we will be releasing our camera information out to you as well. Chief, do you provide the name of the person who was arrested? We do have the name, and I will be releasing that out to you at the time we release photos of the suspect to you. And, right. and do, can you provide any more information on the victims? I know earlier they were asked. They are still in the uh, currently uh, stable, I believe. one. The one that was in surgery is obviously going to be in serious. A potential critical condition, but right now stable as I understand. And the one who passed away, was it a man? You know, I believe it was the man. Uh, we, as I shared with you, I know we, one, of, one of the persons who was shot was a woman, but the, I did know it was a man who passed away. And I do want to extend truly condolences to this family and friends. People grieve, and this is, this is you know, such a tragic thing so i'm sorry for the grieving um, i'm here to help my job my heart my goal my mission is to be a peacemaker and so i want peace in this city and i'm not trite when i say that that is my goal i'm a peace officer a peacemaker and so i'm going to do everything i my abilities to bring peace to this city and, and um, Superintendent Ankle Patrick, this yeah. is the second shooting we've had, uh, a third shooting we've had right. in the matter of days where multiple people were shot. Have you spoken to the mayor? Where is she today or what is she saying right well, now? The, the mayor is absolutely involved from the moment of these calls. I mean, I call her immediately. She is absolutely involved. Our mayor is a woman who has a heart of compassion and she is absolutely involved in this city in every way. She is a partner to me. And so um, I appreciate where our mayor is in making sure that she has given me every single tool I have asked for, every single one of them. Now I want to talk about the um, crime that is going on in the last couple of weeks. So. Last year, in the month of no November, we had 20 murders. It's unfortunate to have any murders, but today, this particular death brought our total for this month to nine. Holiday seasons are violent seasons, actually. We know that whenever there are holidays, actually, um, risk factors go up for people. So, so, so Chief, just to quickly recap, yeah. one person is still out there that y'all have Yes, but we know who they are, and uh, we're going to go get them. One final question, Missy. Superintendent. Yeah. No. One final question, Missy. Yeah. She needs to get. All the TV stations have asked. Thank okay. you. I just wanted to make sure. So you said there were three suspects. Were they all shooters? And is that everybody who was in the vehicle? What I know and what I saw were three shooters. That does not mean there wasn't additional people in the car, but I saw three shooters. I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, Superintendent, yeah. this area unfortunately yes. is known for violence. We've seen multiple shootings over the years and other crimes taking place. Canal, Royal, 
Hyperville. What can you all do as a department? And can you all do anything more? I can't say. I, I will I will push back a little bit that, I, that this area is known for violence. I live within blocks of this area. And so I choose to live here, and I do not think of it as an area of violence, or I would not live here myself. But no one, I mean, this is a wonderful area to live as a resident. I love living here. And so um, it is unfortunate that these events have occurred, and we are putting a lot of resources down here. But I believe people like myself who choose to make this neighborhood my home, the French Quarter is a wonderful place to live. And so I'm someone who can tell you from experience, I do not fear living here. It is an unfortunate event, but it is not what it's known for. All right. I think we're Thank good, you. right? Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, NOPD Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick giving us the very latest details. Here is the latest. One person in custody. They are looking for a second. They believe they know who that person is, and they hope to have them arrested very shortly. But you did hear the superintendent say that she saw three shooters involved in that brazen crime that happened just about midday today that left one person dead, three others injured.